I can only imagine how it is to be with you. From the first day I saw your face, I knew this love was true. But you already taken nothing I can do. So I can only imagine how it is to be with you. I can only imagine us both loving through the night. I can only imagine us together side by side. I can only imagine we're dancing in the moonlight. Hello everyone, welcome back to Miss Ming's channel. This is Miss Ming. In today's video, I want to show you my work from home morning routine. When I work from home, I don't have to wake up super early, so 6.30 it is. Unlike other YouTubers who make their bed first thing in the morning, I don't because my husband is still in bed. First thing in the morning is to brush my teeth because I just cannot tolerate my own morning breath. Okay, I've been using the Sonicare and the Sensodyne toothpaste for a while and I really enjoy them. I've been running low on my beauty supplies because I'm waiting for things to be on sale. So I'm actually using my Simple Size Bye Bye Under Eye Eye Cream and also my Boshia Cactus Jelly Cream. It's almost gone and also my favorite Infinite Aloe Cream. The last step of skincare and the first step of makeup is actually to put on Cetaphil Daily Facial Moisturizer, the Tainted Sunscreen, and then put on some eyeliner. I know I didn't blend well my sunscreen because I didn't wear my glasses, but later I put on the glasses and realized my sunscreen are all over on my face and not really blended. And I walked downstairs to hydrate myself. Looking at this clip, it really feels like it's endless stairs. And yes, drinking a lot and a lot of water before anything and everything in the morning. I usually try to work out three times in a day, but usually they're really short workout. Usually I try to work out about 15 to 20 minutes in the morning, and then 20 to 30 minutes during the lunchtime, and then 20 minutes to 40 minutes usually in the evening. Sometimes I just take walks. All right, let me show you my morning workout routine. I love to warm up my workout routine by taking a walk or jog, or sometimes when the weather doesn't permit, I will just do some jumping jacks. And then I I will try to do some um, slow motion mountain climbers and then some side forearm plank just to warm up my body first and then gain my motion ability like in the morning because like usually in the morning I feel like a zombie and not able to move around so I like to take it slow and also try to pump up my heart by doing some sort of cardio but not very long time or not very intensively Mountain climber is a really good strength training plus cardio, so I always try to do that one in the morning. Recently, I also learned something called half burpee. So basically, instead of doing a full burpee, we're just trying to practice the high plank and retract abs. And I think it's pretty good for a morning workout. And then we're gonna do some like goddess squats, try to activate my inner thighs. And and my glute muscle. The main purpose of doing the morning workout is just to try to uh, wake up my body, pump up the heart, get some energy in. So it's not an intensive training, it's just to wake up my body. So I'm doing some lunges and back kick. I bought this um, ball from the local grocery store about two, three weeks ago, I think. And Brandon was like, why are you buying this ball? What is it for? I was like, no, it's just for my home workout. Then I love to switch between high plank and forearm plank just to wake up my core and also my upper body as well. To further wake up my thigh muscles, my quadricide muscles, I love to do high plank and then switch in between my legs and do the side kick.
when I have more time in the morning, like if I wake up before six thirty, I love to do a outdoor training. First, I do one to two miles of jogging or running, and then I love to do outdoor workouts such as squat jumps and lunges and all the good outdoor exercises. I actually really prefer working out outdoors, but sometimes I do worry about like being exposed to the sun, and I really don't like sunscreen on my body. As far as I know, skin cancer is a real thing, and I'm trying to avoid that. Finally, to end my workout and start my day, I love to do one to three minutes of meditation. Not very long. You could do it in child's pose or seated position, or you can just humble it down. And then I make my morning cup of joe, my favorite coffee drink, coffee latte. And then I water my plants. Okay, so before I started working from home,、uh, my plants were dying because I did forget about them. But then I realized they're still alive. And this one, it even has a little flower. I am so amazed by the positive vibe that I got from my plants that everything will be okay. Even though life gets hard sometimes, don't give up because everything will be okay, and we will survive. At eight o'clock, our entire department will get together on Google Hangout or Zoom to have a morning meeting to check in and making sure everybody is okay and making sure we have some sort of human interactions while working from home. Well, did you see my little camera over there? It's my Canon 80D. I don't know why it's like <laughs> laying down there. <laughs> it looks kind of funny, and somebody noticed that from the Zoom as well, as well as my little pathetic. Gorilla tripod that's like super bended because my Canon 80D is like super heavy. The little gorilla tripods cannot hold the weight of my Canon 80D. The funny thing that day during the meeting is that somebody noticed in the background I had a bottle of quote unquote champagne right there, and then I was like,、uh, "It's not alcoholic. It's sparkling cider." And then I started to flex my Clorox because I was able to get them about three months before the outbreak. Because you know what, I'm a cheapskate. It was on sale, so I bought the whole bottle of Clorox, and now it's paid off. We're all social animals, and having human interactions is very essential to maintain our sanity and mental health. And then I take out my favorite planner of the year, the Erin Condren one. This one was very, very, very special because it was gifted to me from my academic advisor during my doctoral studies. Planning has been a very important part of my life. I actually have three different planners. I know I have a planner for YouTube videos, like YouTube ideas, and I also have a life planner that I want to play around with stickers. And sometimes I do planning with me videos. So stay tuned and also watch my planning with me videos if you're into those sticker planners and things like that. And then I also have one planner for work, which is the Erin Condren one, and I like to. Do my to-do list of the day for each day, and also check them off at the end of the day. I think having planners are super, super, super useful when it comes to productivity, and it also helps me to organize my mind and also take notes of my minds and thoughts and ideas.
After planning my work, the next essential step is to actually work. My first step of working is actually to check my emails, reply my emails, and gchat with my assistant, and also like just making sure that we're on the same page and trying to email communications and things like that before actually starting my tasks. And then I don't like to eat breakfast first thing in the morning, so I try to work until around 10 o'clock and eat my breakfast after I finish the first work task. It's like a reward to myself. All right, around 10 o'clock, sometimes 9:30, sometimes 10:05, I try to eat my breakfast. So today I'm eating a uh, yogurt. This one has been my favorite. I bought five bottles last time, and I don't know what I'm gonna do without them once I ran out. And then I love to do avocado toast. Again, this is my favorite bread. This is my last several slides of the bread. So again, I don't know what I'm gonna do without them because I'm running out and they're not in the delivery list from the local grocery store. And then I cut up a avocado and just put the avocado on the toast to make the avocado toast. And then I eat my banana. This is actually the last banana that I have. The next grocery delivery is in about five days. So hang in there. All right, that's it for today. This is my morning routine working from home. I genuinely wish that everything will go back to normal and I can go to my grocery store, buy my favorite food. But for now, please stay home and stay safe and stay healthy. And I hope to see you in my next video. Take care, stay healthy and happy. Just like my plants that are surviving, we will survive this and everything will be okay. Bye! Thumbs up and subscribe. I can only imagine how it is to be with you from the first day I saw your face.